Dean Jones and uh, Farooq Engineer in the studio. I'll start with you, Farooq. You were an aggressive batsman, but did you ever play the scoop shot? And the reason I ask you is Owen Morgan was going really well. Could have won it for that. There was, a, was there a need to play that kind of a no, stroke? No, no need at all. And that's what we've been talking about, the reverse sweep and, and the funny, the odd shots that people play. He was playing so well. He could have won the game. You know, he could have easily won the game. Going superb, playing superb sixes and fours all over the place. Okay, played a stupid shot, but it was a very clever ball from Kevin Cooper. You know, he bowls a slow one, Dino, yep. from the back of his hand, doesn't he? He does. And he disguises ball. it really well, and I think that, 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 that causes lots of problems. For yeah, he's a very good bowler. He, he brings it at the back of What he hasn't done in the past, which I saw in the Chittagong Kings when I was his coach, he doesn't bowl that fast Yorker. But he has this year, and this is the point that he Farouk, does occasionally. he bowls it yeah. a lot more at the that's death, right. and that's okay. where he's knocking guys yeah. over. Comment on the scoop shot. Did you ever do that? I know it fetched him a six there, just, just before. The guys practice it a lot. I, I know it's uh, Farouk is, uh, you know, and I'm a, bit, a little bit old school where he's better off in hitting it down the ground. But I think he was backing on the fact that he was going to bowl his change-up ball and get up and underneath it. I still think when under pressure you've got to go for your best shot. And he was sort of going mid-wicket. It wasn't trying to flick it over. Yeah, that one wasn't even wicket. on the stubs. It was, it was yeah. down, on, down the leg side, literally. Right. Yeah. He, he would have been better playing a reverse sweep, which he, which he plays quite well. Mm. But I think any time you try and play a funny shot, you get out, you get some stuff. I think it's you? not. Was it, he, he put him yeah. under enormous pressure. I think the turning point of the match for me, without doubt, was Brett Lee playing that stupid shot <laughs> down the ground. Instead of hitting one and giving <clears> it to uh, Morgan. Play. And Morgan's starting to think, boys, just give me the strike. Yeah. You don't have to hit the sixes. It's my job. Well, that's you know, where the that's, coaches, that, uh, well, that's where these highly paid Brett coaches Lee's come been in. around enough to and know they better. they send messages poor, poor all player. the time around to the middle, right. batting that, gloves or something. Right. Come on, give him the strike. Yeah, He's right. the man of the crease. Right. Mm. That's why the coaches yeah. focus on handling pressure now more than the skills. Uh, Farooq, when was the last time you saw a limited over game in India? Five fast bowlers play. Mm. <laughs> a rare sight, I must yeah. say. But what a beautiful ground. The outfield was magnificent. Mm. I've never seen it like Did that. Do you enjoy and such games too, when the, when oh, yeah. the bowlers dominated, oh, yeah, even absolutely. though you were a batsman? I love the ball coming onto the bat. Yeah. Everyone wants that. No one wants the ball staying low or uneven bounce. You know, when the ball comes onto the bat, you play your shots. You're confidently playing your shots, and that, that's what it's all about. But what I must admit, I laughed at the players in Sri Sound said it tonight. It's nice to play on the green top. Trust me. You've never played on a green top, young man. That had a couple of grades of blades of grass so on it. So imagine he's he already... He had no idea of a green top. Well, it was a green top compared to the normal Indian wickets. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. On that subject, do you enjoy watching such games? Uh, you know, where, where bowlers dominate, especially fast bowlers. We, we don't get to see that very often in India. Yeah, I think what we're starting to realise now, for all these little tricks they used to do, when the ball's coming on, you actually that can be used as your strength as a batsman. For, as Farouk is right, play your shots. You don't have to do all these trick other shots at the moment. You know, I, the, the thing is with these type of pitches, you can give yourself a bit of room, just hit through the line and bang, it goes for four. The bowlers, how the hell they've got more brains than batsmen, they don't. They're the dumbest <laughs> people on earth. Yes. They really are bowlers. But they're killing everyone at the moment. Aren't they? The bowlers are really outsmarting the batters at the moment, which is really weird. Right. We've, we've got you, a complete you, new discussion coming up. Would you necessarily that? say there was a bowler's wicket? I think it was a good cricketing wicket mm. because the ball came onto the bat nicely. You know, we saw some great, some very good innings. Ajinkya Rahane, I thought, played superb. Brad yeah. Hodge yeah, played shot. superb. Dravid started off very well indeed. You know, so it was a good cricketing wicket. And that's what we all like to see. Right. On the subject of fast bowlers, we also saw the fastest bowl, uh, ball bowled in the IPL up until now. 150.1. One, uh, Sean, Sean Tate bowled that. 161 or something. Like that. No, yeah. no. That, that's the fastest bowl ever bowled. Okay, Today, right. Today, right, the right, fastest right. in the IPL is what we right. said. But going back in your times, the fastest bowler that you ever faced? Ever faced on one day was Wacker. I had the, um, at the Perth when he was a young boy, young lad running in 22 uh, years of age and the keeper was two steps outside the circle, Moen Khan, so he's 32 metres back. But I will say this, people talk about the fastest, Shoah Bakhtar being quick, Sean Tate being quick, no one, <coughs> I mean no one was as quick as Jeff Thompson. Oh, no one. Now I'm going to quickly go let to Farouk, but I'll let this last thing in. He's the only bowler in first class history to bowl a bouncer and hit the side screen on the full. But did that really happen? I At thought, the I Wacker, thought, it did. I have it did. Did really I've played Tomo for the World Eleven huh? against Queensland. In fact, I got 192 against Tomo. Huh? But he was quick. He was raw. Sorry, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to show off or something. But he was raw. Mm. He was really, really quick. And I remember hitting him for a couple of sixes. And the third one, he came tearing down. 
And as I was in position, the ball was right here, just over my head, and I knew I couldn't hit it. And he looked at me and said, Stran, hit that one, mate. <laughs> he <laughs> he was quick. He would have played a few shoulders. <laughs> I think that was one of the quickest yeah. balls I've ever faced.